This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Hello, gentlemen. It's Tuesday, December the 10th, 4.18 in the afternoon. What we're looking at here is a gas valve and a manifold off of a York Diamond 80 furnace. Um, I went yesterday and he wasn't getting any fire. We had 24 volts, gas valve was not opening. You know, when the igniter glows, you can, you, you get to 24 volts of the gas valve. You can normally hear that click, but I checked it with the meter. I had 24 volts and, uh, it, it wouldn't click, it, it, it wouldn't fire. I tried tapping on it a little bit because I know sometimes, not that that's a permanent fix, but you can do that sometimes just to see, you know, if you can get it to open. And it didn't. So the valve is bad. We did have incoming gas pressure, I checked that. Um, I'm gonna get a new half union here for the gas flex because they pipe doped the flared part and I had a hell of a time getting that thing off. For those of you out there that don't know, you wanna pipe dope your threads here into the valve, but you do not, do not pipe dope the damn flare. It's unnecessary. I'm also gonna get a nipple because they have the flex line running inside the cabinet and that's a no-no. Um, there was recently a video that I posted on my personal Facebook page where our house blew up because of that. So I'm gonna get a, probably about a 12 inch nipple and a new union for the uh, half union for the, uh, our flex connect. These are called, you can call this a flex connector, a half union, whatever. Uh, a new flex connector, a uh, 12 inch nipple, and um, probably get a female flex connector. And then we'll run hard, a hard pipe outside the cabinet because again, you don't wanna run flex through the cabinet. So. The guy's kind of a helicopter, but usually when I get up to the furnace, he usually leaves me alone. So we'll see if we can get some film on it. All right, guys, here's our York Diamond 80 furnace. We have our new gas valve. I'm having to lay down because this furnace is so close to the floor. Um, you can see they have the flex line penetrating the cabinet gonna fix that with a nipple and a flex connector so right now I'm gonna see if I can pop y'all up hopefully y'all can see what's going on and we're gonna put this looks like I bent one of my tabs outside here with me we're gonna check our gas pressure make sure that these jets are lined up correctly or that will cause an issue my gas valve is not sitting exactly like I want it okay, I'll deal with that in a minute <sighs> And I forgot my drill, of course, because we're on we're on top of an attic. If that makes any sense, we're in an attic through a large D wall door. It's actually a full size door. Then you got to climb up again once you get into the attic. So necessities with me in my tote. Mm. 
Okay. There we go. I got my gas valve straightened out a little better. So I could just hook that up and we'd be ready to go, but that is illegal. And if that vibrates right there, I shared a video the other day where it actually caused the house to blow up. So we're gonna fix it right. So we're gonna pull that plug there. Guys, you can't see off because, you know, I got the camera sitting on top of the furnace, but I'm pipe doping the end of the nipple. You'll see it come into view here in just a minute. Let's see if I can do this without knocking the camera. guys I'm tightening it up from the top Okay, everything's tight. There's our flex connector with our hard pipe. Now I'm gonna set up the manometer, check the incoming pressure and outcoming. Okay, we have our manometer set up. This is one of those valves where the ports are little. Okay, there's the inducer. The customer just fired it. Let me cut the gas on. That might help our case. I should have bled the gas line, but we'll see what happens. Bouncing, 
it and I'm happy with that. We were reaching almost uh, six, uh, 6, shit, 4 inches of uh, water earlier, so I'm a lot happier with that. She's burning off really well. We have our new hard pipe. So I feel much better about that. New gas valve. Made just a little different from the other one, but it'll work. So, uh, she's burning pretty. All right, so we're headed home. And I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, the reason that we're so late is because I came out here yesterday and this customer has two systems. And uh, the reason that we got here so late this afternoon is because the valve, I came out yesterday and diagnosed it and I and they didn't, the yard store didn't have it stocked. So I ordered it and it didn't get here till like, I don't know, 3.30, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Um, yeah, it was more like 3.30, I think. And uh, so I came out, you know, and we did all the work that you, that you guys just saw. And one thing I didn't tell you guys is that I just gained myself a really good customer. This is a DIY customer. He thought he knew what was wrong with this furnace when it wouldn't fire. He bought a board off of Amazon and he bought the right board. I mean, it's the, it's the damn OEM York replacement and he wired it up right. Of course, you know, it's not that hard to do. He, he mounted the new one in place and he went wire for wire. But that was not the issue. He put his board on and it still wouldn't fire. So you see what I'm saying to all you DIYers out there? Call your HVAC professional. Just spend the money. Anyway, um, so I can't. he called me out yesterday. I was referred to him through Facebook. And because um, that's, like I said, my only source of advertisement right now. And it's doing it's doing well, but um, he and he told me just to do what I had to do, and of course we found a bad gas valve, and y'all saw the rest. So I hated to leave them without heat last night, but they had a second unit. Well, actually, I take that back. Last night it, it wasn't cold at all. Shit, they, we were we were running the AC last night, and he did too. Uh, so I just put the you know I took the manifold with me, cut the gas off. And I put his doors back on and told him, okay, you can run your AC. But it dropped down, uh, it's, it's in the low 40s right now. It's about 40, 41 degrees. And I didn't, really didn't want to leave him without heat tonight. You know, so I, I don't mind. I mean, it's 6.30 and I'm done, but I, don't, I didn't mind at all. I wanted to help them people out and get them some heat. And they didn't mind paying. And uh, it's also led to a... Not, it's not going to happen today or anytime soon. It's uh, because of Christmas, but he told me he, to uh, touch base with him in February. We're going to do a double change out. He wants both those systems gone. The air conditioning side of the equipment is in pretty rough shape. The furnaces look really good, but we're going to go ahead and change those two. But the evaporators are in horrible condition. Whoever's been taking care of that stuff for him, Dave, they don't even have screws in the evaporator doors. There's maybe one screw in the rest of it's tape. The drain pans are rotten. It just, the air conditioning side of, of both pieces of equipment is in horrible condition. So we're gonna do a double change out come February. And uh, he wants me to go ahead and send him the quotes though, you know, tomorrow or the next day or whenever, just to, so he can see what he's looking at. Although I told him, now I got I have locked in pricing with Reem, so we'll see. I told him I would probably be able to keep the quotes the same by February. I mean it's only a month and a half away. I mean if if they do increase me on pricing, I've already warned him of that. He said that was fine. It would still give him an idea of what he was looking at. But uh, they usually lock our pricing in for a couple years, so I'm pretty confident that they won't go up on me. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to clarify some of that because I don't know if I told y'all that the reason that I know I said I diagnosed it yesterday in the beginning of the video, but I didn't know if I clarified that why I was why I came back today instead of yesterday. So that's why because the valve had to be ordered. But anyway, it's done and over with. They're very happy. I'm happy. Uh, brought a nipple with me to for that gas flex, so 
Makes That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Gentlemen, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. I'm headed home, and we'll see you guys on the next one.